Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently, we have seen a lot of updates coming out for indigenous drone programs such as Tapas VH201 and Archer UAV. However, we are at least 2 to 3 years behind before we can see these drones taking on the sky for operational role. At the same time, Pakistan has also made a deal with China for 50 Wing Lung 2 drones. These drones can not only do surveillance and reconnaissance but can also carry 200 kg star bombs and anti-tank missiles. Recently, we have also seen increase in PLA activities at LSE near Arunachal Pradesh by 120%. In the view of increasing threats of drones from China and Pakistan, India had planned to acquire 30 MQ-9 Reaper or Predator B armed drones from US in March 2021. The deal is going to be worth 3 billion US dollars and was supposed to be finalized in May which did not happen. These 30 drones are to be procured for three wings of Indian Armed Forces that is Army, Air Force and Navy. And Indian Navy is leading the procurement process. As we all know that 2 plus 2 meeting is going to be held between Indian Defense Minister Rajnath Singh and External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar with their US counterparts Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin in December in Washington and the news is that both the sides will be finalizing this deal during the visit. The Indian Navy is ready to move to the DAC for acceptance of necessity for acquisition of 30 MQ-9B Reaper. The deal will be finalized in a government to government plan with the US Foreign Military Sail Group. However, the concurrence of the Cabinet Committee on Security after DAC clearance needs to be completed before 2 plus 2 meeting. The MQ-9 is the first hunter-killer UAV designed for long-endurance, high-altitude surveillance. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 5,670 kgs and payload capacity of 2,177 kgs. It has 9 hard points, 4 at each side of wing and 1 at the center line. It is a maximum flight altitude of 40,000 feet with endurance of 40 hours. It can attain maximum speed of 389 km per hour. The MQ-9 carries a variety of weapons including GPU-12 Paveway 2 laser guided bomb, the AGM-1111 Hellfire 2 air to ground missiles, the AIM-9 Sidewinder air to air missiles and the GPU-38 Joint Direct Attack Munition. Tests are underway to allow for the addition of AIM-92 Stinger air-to-air -air missile. Indian Navy is already operating two leased Predator drones for maritime domain awareness beyond the Straits of Malacca to Gulf of Aden and are quite satisfied with their performance. Procurement of armed drones will further sharpen India's offensive capabilities as till date Indian military only operate drones for surveillance and reconnaissance missions. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.